Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And this time again, we're starting the month with 10 apps that I believe you must have on your device. These are mostly new apps that have recently been released. And I believe every iPhone user must take a look at them and try them out on their device. We're starting with a wallpaper app called Kuwik Wallpapers. Now this one is really interesting. This is the interface, really beautiful. And you will see right here, different categories of wallpapers that you can take a look at. So if you like one of them, you just tap on it and you will see then here all the different wallpapers that it has to offer. You can see it actually has some really high quality wallpapers and actually really beautiful wallpapers that you can get for your device. And once you have found the wallpaper that you like, you can tap on it. From here, you can take a look of how it will look actually on your lock screen or home screen. And then of course you can tap here if you wanna download them to your device. Or you can tap here if you wanna move to the next wallpaper. Really great app, very simple to use and very, very nice wallpapers. Now if you tap this button here, it shows you a slider, which actually allows you to also add a blur to the wallpaper. So if you just wanna blur the wallpaper, you will be able to do that from here. The next app for the video is called Auto Sticker. So you know with iOS 16, we have this cool feature that basically allows us to detach the subject of a photo just like that and it shows you the share button. Now it just simply detaches it from the photo but by tapping the share button and tapping here on auto sticker, now this app will allow you to actually customize that sticker that you could create just by simply detaching the subject from the photo. You can actually add a border to that right there. You can see you can add a color to that border. Choose of course the size of the border. You can even add a shadow just like that. You can choose the direction of the shadow and the color of the shadow as well. And even you can add like different effects to that photo. And of course, even resize it or just rotate it any way you like. Once you have done that, you tap the share button. You can go ahead and save this image. And now you have created a really beautiful sticker out of your picture. The next app is called Widget. Now this one offers lock screen widgets which are basically a quick start or basically allowing you to launch apps from the lock screen via live activities of course and you will have here the other widgets which you can put at the lock screen widgets of course and normal lock screen widgets and you will have home screen widgets as well but what's cool is the dynamic island options so you can have like things like real-time cpu usage right here if we go there you can see we have the cpu usage right on the dynamic island you can see every detail right here now going back into the app you can see we have the network speed this one is really cool you can see your download and upload in real time on the dynamic island now this is really really cool again by tapping on it you will see way more details and you will have things like real-time location storage clock power and if you tap on more here it will just display like more features you can ask from the creator of the app but it actually is really really cool you can see on real time the power the storage anything you want on the dynamic island next up is lock screen 14 now with lock screen 14 you will have live activities for your lock screen on iOS 16.1 and it has a few options. Now what I love about this app is that it's actually free and it offers you a few different options into one app. You will have the app launcher, contacts, a photo, whichever you choose, and then you will have your health data as well. Now what you can do here is tap on one of these, of course, and you can choose what you want to display there. So if you select that, we can go ahead and choose the app that we want to add there. Just like that, select any app, tap on save. And then of course, once you launch it, simply by enabling it here, you will have it on the lock screen of your device. As easy as that, you can either have any of the apps that you have on your device, your contacts, your photos, or your health data. AI Picture is the next app for the video. This is a free app that allows you to create AI pictures simply by choosing like different styles, inspirations that you want, and then you can also just add right there any like word that you want and search for that word. So if I just search for World Cup in this case, you can see 
all the different AI pictures that will create on my device. I can select one of them. I can, of course, go ahead and maybe share it or save it to my device. You can use these as maybe as wallpapers for your device. It will actually create some really, really, really beautiful pictures, which, of course, can be created by simply searching for different terms that you want, and then you can create your own pictures, which actually look really interesting. The next app for the video is called Halo PDF. Now, this is a very simple app, very easy to use it allows to quickly create pdfs out of pictures now you can tap the plus button and you can do that using the photos you can take from your camera roll from your camera or from the camera roll by just choosing here and then scanner tap right there you can simply go ahead and scan documents from here and once you keep the scan it will save it and just like that you will be able to actually create a pdf so once you're done here tap on save there you will see the pages here you can of course rearrange the pages you can just go ahead and maybe add more from here or add more from the scanner again or maybe delete any one that you don't need once you have done that you tap on save pdf and just like that you can create a pdf file save it to your files app out of your photos or pictures that you take through the scanner very useful and of course very very easy to use to do is the next app for the video now this is a very easy to use app that will allow you to keep track of your upcoming expenses and your incomes as well now it will give you a very nice and easy to use interface simply by tapping the plus button you can add an expense or an income from here of course at the title of the expense or income the amount and you can choose the date here when it will happen and of course if it's something like let's say a subscription that you pay every month all you have to do is just go ahead and just choose here maybe weekly or every two weeks monthly or every two months three months whatever you have there of course you can choose a category here and you can have all of your expenses in one place here you can see it says the remaining expenses for the month and of course it will show you everything else that you need and you will have your reports here for every month of the year it will show you the total expenses the total income and the net total right here very very easy and very understandable for a lot of people a lot of people are maybe confused using these kind of apps because most of them are actually very complicated this one does the job very easily and what you can do is also export your database to your dropbox very easily by simply going here the next app for the video is called the widget spacer now widget spacer will work on your lock screen and home screen as well for the home screen, you need to go here and just go ahead and take a screenshot of the last page of your home screen. And that is this one right here. Go to the edit page, you take a screenshot here, and then you load this screenshot into the app here. And you can just place the widget from this app under your home screen and you will have a blank space. But it will also work for the lock screen as well. So on the lock screen, if you want to have a blank space here between like two different widgets you might have, you can just add this widget. So here I have these two widgets, but if I want to have just like a blank space there, what I can do is just go ahead and load widget spacer. So I can add these right here and you can see I can move this one in this case here tap on the dumb button and you can see now I have a widget on each corner so I have a blank space right there which with widget spacer next up is lock screen launcher now this is a new app that offers all kinds of different widgets and launchers for your lock screen and of course the dynamic island so this is what we have here this is the home screen of the app so we have the lock screen section we have the dynamic island here we can go ahead and quickly open these apps we have here all kinds of different widgets that we can have so we have of course different categories rectangular inline widgets and you will have a circular widgets as well now if you just want to add one of these you go ahead and select it and you will find it then here under my widget so of course these will display once you go into the lock screen and you go to add the widget so you can see what we have here storage battery settings different emojis you can have or any of the apps that you might want to launch from your lock screen so if you go to all you will see everything that you have here it even offers some really cool wallpapers if you go into the wallpaper section here you will find some wallpapers with the depth effect that you can get for your iOS 16's lock screen so it looks actually really really cool you can see the wallpapers here you can just tap to download directly from here and you're good to go you can then of course go ahead and apply them to your lock screen with the depth effect which again makes the device look really really nice 
Last but not least is Reminder Book. Now this is an amazing app that allows you to add reminders and it will also display them on the home screen of your device via home widgets, which is actually really cool. And I love what I love about this is the way it displays them. So you can see the date you have created the event, how many days are left, and the date when it will occur right there really really nice now if you tap here you can go ahead and add your event and what i really love about this is that if you want to add notifications it will actually allow you to customize those notifications so if you have an event here you can have notifications at any time that you want so you can see if you go to notification type you can choose when you want to have the notification for that event you can have it on the day on the day or a day before, a week before, or four weeks before. You can choose the exact time when you want to receive the notification for that event. So of course you don't miss out and you will have again these beautiful home screen widgets so you never forget about the events that are going on next. So that is it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the apps. If you want to download any of them, make sure to check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links there. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.